Hi, I'm Jeremiah Dylan Cook. I'm a horror writer, and I wanted to do an unboxing video in honor of my new story, Lost Vintage, which is going to be in the Women Running From Houses anthology. Um, I'm very into uh, Lovecraftian stuff, and especially the Arkham Horror Files games and card game, so I thought I'd do an unboxing of uh, the new Arkham Horror board game, Under Dark Waves expansion, and uh, the Arkham Horror the card game expansion for Arkham Horror the card game. Um, so... We'll start with the Under Dark Waves expansion here. Got my trusty scissors, because I haven't even taken out the shrink wrap yet. Oh boy. So, I love the artwork on the front here. I think that's Dagon, and obviously those are the deep ones. And we have a little boat here, which is kind of like my uh, Lego shrimp boat. So, opening, opening, there. All right, so uh, nothing fancy here. Rule book, obviously. Uh, then we got punch board. Looks like we've got um, new uh, pieces of the board which we can build. And I've heard these are uh, train uh, spots where you can leave the board, which is pretty cool. Um, some other tokens, I'm not exactly sure what they do. These go in the, they probably go in the Mythos uh, Cup. Um, looks like some new characters on the back here. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. I know she's a violinist who's similar to um, the character in uh, the story, the Lovecraft story um, about the violinist. I'm blanking on the name of it. Oh, the music of Eric Zahn. It's pretty cool. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, you got the Fantasy Flight, the big insert that Fantasy Flight is known for, but I don't hold that against them. Um, looks like we got some new uh, cards for the neighborhood, which is really cool. And, oh, Duke, the dog. That's pretty cool. He's a, he's a friend of uh, one of the characters, and that's, that's really cool. Um, and some other uh, allies and resources. Um, and then we've got some uh, scenario-specific cards. So, oh, I was wrong. The, the monster on the front is actually Mother Hydra, which is pretty crazy. So that's really cool. Um, and then we've got the actual character cards here, the big ones, so, and the new scenarios here. Um, so, Ash Campede is the one who has Duke the dog, and then it looks like there's a couple of new scenarios. Um, I mean, oh, might as well break these open quick and go through and at least name them. I'm excited to give this a play. Arkham Horror is one of my favorite games, if not even my favorite game, especially the, I really like the third edition. I've actually never played second edition or first edition, but third edition I love, and I'm also big into Mansions of Madness and pretty much all the fantasy flight games. So, the scenarios are Tyrants of Ruin which uh, looks really cool. Um, the Pale Lantern, which sounds cool and spooky. Uh, Ithaqua's Children, so the Windwalker. I've heard a little bit about this. I think they did a live stream on this. It looked really great. I don't know if you just saw the cat running through, but if you did, that's just the cat. Uh, Strider. Uh, and then Dreams of Relay, which is a Cthulhu scenario, obviously. So those all look really cool, and I'm excited to give those a play soon. Um, then we have uh, the meddling of Nyalarthotep, uh, Bark of War the Card Game, which I had to buy just because it's so ridiculous. And I think it wasn't, uh, it, it was originally an April Fool's, and then people liked it so much it became a real thing, I think. Or it was just always a real product, but it looked so ridiculous people thought it was an April Fool's. I can't remember which. Uh, oh no, these packages are always really hard to open. This is why I should use the scissors but I'm not going to, but I should, but I won't. Oh my God, that's a husky, that's adorable. Um, so we got our, uh, our little scenario book here. Um, obviously you have your cards. We have the uh, really great card artwork on the back that we love. You've got it framed. Um, oh, so the, <laughs> so the husky is Bark Harrigan. The Dog of War. I gotta, let's see if I can cut these open and just read these off because they're ridiculous. So, and I love it. Fantasy Flight is great. <laughs> I would love to write one of the Fantasy Flight, um, they do tie-in novels uh, for the characters. I would love to write that, one of those. Um, I've read the uh, Investigators of Arkham, Arkham Horror book and it's, it's really cool. I've read all the characters. So it looks like we've got so, Bark Harrigan, as I already said, is a husky. <clears throat> Kate Winthpup. 
is here. Feline Discombobulator. That's one of the cards. Um, what are the other characters? Skids O'Drool. Which looks pretty ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Jacqueline Canine. I cannot wait to play this. This is so ridiculous. Um, oh, and of course Duke is actually a character in this game. So, and, and instead of, in most of the Arkham Horror stuff, um, basically Ashcan Pete is the character and then Duke is his, his assistant and his friend. But in this, Duke is the character and Ashcan Pete is the friendly character, his friendly uh, human. So, that's amazing. I won't go through all the cards because, you know, uh, Arkham Horror's card game is all about um, keeping the mystery alive on what the story is. So, I don't want to go through all that, but wow, is that exciting. And I don't know, I just love the Arkham Horror stuff. It's, it's awesome. And it helps me as a writer uh, when I play these games. Uh, it gives me great ideas for my own stories, um, and I use it as inspiration. So it becomes kind of a, a big snake that keeps eating its tail. <laughs> so finally, we have um, my box of books that I got, my comp copies of, uh, well, not comp copies, but um, my copies of the book, uh, Women Running from Houses, the Anthology. Um, and I'm super excited for this. Of course, this is going to be the first one to open on camera. Uh, uh. Ooh. That's really cool. Uh. Ooh. Larger than I thought it would be, which is kind of exciting. Um, so this is uh, the anthology that I'm in. Um, really exciting. Oh, there's my name on the back. Look at that. I'm somebody these days. Um, and the cover's awesome. It's a uh, reference, obviously, to... So it's the Women Running From Houses uh, anthology because for years and years... The covers of all these gothic horror books would have, uh, you know, some kind of house and a woman running from it. So the cover is obviously representing that. Uh, and whew, let, me, let me go through here and find my story quick because I'm excited to show it off. All right, lost vintage. There we go. All right. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Let me see. Let me see. There it is. So really, really exciting. Um, so if you get a chance and you want to support me and other writers, uh, the other writers in this anthology, um, pick up a copy of uh, Castle of Horror Anthology Volume 4, Women Running From Houses. And uh, thanks so much for uh, watching my uh, first unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.